A child observed some caviar falling to the ground and, out of curiosity, picked up a bit with his fingers to taste it. To his astonishment, the delicacy, which was highly prized by the affluent, had an unpleasant flavor. The child realized that the flavor of food was inconsequential, as long as it symbolized social standing, for the wealthy would gladly pay a premium. From that moment, the child aspired to become a chef who could make the rich plead with him to prepare meals for them. As he matured and ascended to the position of head chef, he found himself at the most lavish banquets. Raw beef was presented in the hall, bathed in red light, creating a mysterious aura that captivated all the affluent attendees. The chef vigorously seasoned the meat and then used torches to sear the beef. He carved off a piece that was not fully cooked. A woman willingly approached and received the raw beef into her mouth. The distinctive texture surprised the wealthy guests, and, combined with the atmosphere, she was convinced it was an exquisite delicacy. Other rich diners, upon hearing this, eagerly joined in, consuming the beef with the fervor of wild animals. With his extraordinary culinary talents, the chef incited a frenzy among the wealthy patrons. It's a feast of blood and meat for the rich. What you beef of A5 quality must be sliced as thin as a cicada's wing. The heat must be just right. The beef is juicy and tender. It melts in your mouth. The flavor will remain on the lips in order to fulfill the chef's requirements. The girl, Lisa, had a tough audition. Lisa was forced to stir fry again over the fire. This time, too much oil. The wagyu still didn't turn out the way the chef wanted. The chef pushed Lisa away. He pushed Lisa out of the way and dumped all of the wasted Wagyu into the walk. That's a lot of dollars for a box of Wagyu. Lisa's already fried it. Thousands of dollars worth of Wagyu just went to waste. The chef told Lisa that if she couldn't cook it up to standard, she'd have to leave if she couldn't get the beef up to standard. That's what it said. The young Lisa left immediately. But when she got to the elevator door, she couldn't hold her breath. She went back to the kitchen to fight with the beef. The frying pan was boiling. She splashed her arm with oil. She also kept stirring the beef. Lisa fell asleep on the floor, seeing the chef in front of her. Lisa skillfully started the fire. The chef picked up the beef and looked at it carefully. The beef was as thin as a cicada's wing. The chef tore another piece and put it in his mouth. It melts in your mouth. It's a mouth full of flavor. Lisa got a pass, but there was a price to pay. Her arms were covered with burns. But Lisa wasn't sad. She smiled happily. She'd finally joined a team of top chefs.